Yo, what's going on guys? Today, it's the day where we have this girl look down upon us with this, I don't, I don't know what to say about this look. Something about it is, I don't know. I don't know. I, I like it. I like it, bro. If you like it, leave a like on the video. If you don't like it, well, hey, hey I guess it's not for everybody. Now, today we're looking at Athena, the newest unit for fire. That's a spear user. Huh, I feel like I've been doing a lot of videos on spear users in like the last couple of days. I see what you're doing, side games. But, um, Athena now had jumped from summon. Wait, see with the summon. Now she's playable. Huh. It was a boss battle. I, f I feel like I'm retreading the same ground. Weird, weird. Um, but yeah, she's a fire primal. Fi wait, fire primal? What? Huh. Must be my must be my imagination. But he's a fire primal defense unit. Weird, right? Very weird. Defense. She got a lot of it. A lot. <laughs> a lot. She also is a spear user. You know, we got units like Hellas. I didn't forget this time. You know, for the people who thought I forgot, I did. But you know, I didn't forget this time. We got Zeta. We have this one unit it starts with an S. Can't remember his name. S. We also have Vanilla. What's its other unit? Start with an S, bro. Yeah, I can't remember it. I, th I think it's a pretty good unit, but I just can't remember the name off the top of my head. Really weird unit. But Athena, being the newest Fire Spirit user in the game, she's <sighs> she's a great unit. Don't get me wrong. She does like 20 trillion things. Like every other unit that come out in the last <laughs> two weeks, <laughs> they just do everything. But you know, there's a little thing that I feel like she's lacking in a little bit. You know, little little things here and there, here and there. But let's look at her ogi. So her ogi is massive fire damage to a foe and boost to all allies' fire attack. The boost that she gives is 15%, which is pretty low, but. She also gives an armor effect. And if you guys don't know what armor is, Anne was one of the original armor users in the game. She gave armor to the team. Armor being the chance of cutting damage by, what, 30% with a 70% proc rate. So it's pretty good. It's actually really good. I wouldn't say pretty good. It's really good. And having that on her Ogi pretty much gives her almost 100% uptime. It's pretty, pretty good. Pretty good Ogi, honestly. You get some offense and defense in one Ogi, bro. Arguably, I don't know if I would prefer light, uh, like something like when defense on her, her Ogi. I think both ways. I think armor is probably a little bit better for new content because newer content tends to have multiple elements like Akasha and Ultimate Bahamut. Stuff like that tends to have like other elements hitting you so for that i think armor is superior so yeah kind of actually want to see other units have this type of ogi but <clears throat> other units have this type of ogi buff so this is definitely a good precedent uh because this is the first unit to ever have this ogi effect now her first skill sealed of the gods <laughs> uh it's a 40% when damage cut to all allies. And on top of that, it converts damage taken to when. So for example, if the enemy is earth, you would take when damage. If whatever damage you were going to take, it becomes when. Please put this on Alex. Can we, can we just change Alex's cut from 70 to like 60 and she gains the ability to convert damage. And I know that earth has the Zeno weapon already. But I, I'm, I don't always want to run that weapon, so I would much rather have this type of effect on a unit like Alex and Uno, Uno indefinitely. Um, so, not to mention, since this is not a uh, normal cut like Phalanx, it actually works in Akasha. So this is actually the superior cut in the newest content being Akasha. Now, another thing I like to mention, it also adds a refresh because, you know, she didn't already protect you. She now got to heal you too. 
so that's pretty good it's a really weak refresh though it's not it only it's like 400 but you know refresh is still refresh you know for three turns that's what 1200 on a heal on a phalanx pretty good pretty good Please put that on Alex and you know, well, thank you. Now, I don't know how to pronounce this one. I'm called Tetra, but Tetra Drama, whatever the fuck it's called, bro. Um, it's the move that does a lot of hits. <laughs> now, it's a five hit um, damage to random foes. So if you have multiple enemies on a field, it's going to spread the damage evenly. It may not hit all the units, may hit one unit more than others, but it hits a lot. And also it applies uh, defense down the stackable to all enemies on the field, which is really, really good. And applies burn. That's something that's very important for other weapons. <coughs> Xenoax. <coughs> so that's really, really good that you can get burn on it. Now, the stackable defense down is 10%. And each stack being 10, it stacks up all the way up to 40. So you need four stacks of it hitting to cap out. At 40 percent but that's really good especially since it's stackable it works really well in stuff like ultimate bahamut where after a while it no longer affected by normal defense down it's only affected by elemental and stackable so having stackable defense down something like cookaroo uh this is really good now it also has another ability hit number increases based on goddess wrath level so depending on what level her goddess wrath is she gains more hits, capping out 10. Um, that's more uh, inducive with her passive skill, but uh, we not her passive skill yet, so we won't be talking about it. Now, the next skill, the Glare of Glafios, or Glafios, or some, something like that, but um, it hits to all foes, double attack rate, blind, and delay. So this unit can burn, defense down double attack down blind delay phalanx fire attack up armor what the f that's eight things from one unit <laughs> why does he do all this but it doesn't do any damage but I, I mean it does delay blind and double attack down on a five turn cooldown bro look at these cooldowns they're five turns see see popping them up like nothing it doesn't do damage, but oh man, it's great for solo. Oh brother, that's great for solo. Only other real delay units in fire, which was Anilla had a six turn on her skill two. Uh, who else do we have on fire with delay? Top of my head. Can't think of another one that's really relevant right now. This probably is another like, oh, there we go. We have SR Mary and that's on a Six turn cooldown, I believe. I believe those are the only ones that I can remember top of my head. So SR Mary and Anilla. If there's another, leave it in the comments. You know, I can't remember everything off the top of my head. It's a lot of units in this. There's like 500 units in the game or something like that. At least I have like 400 or something of them. So if I forget a unit, forgive me. There's so many units in the game. It's really hard to keep track of everything off the top of my head. But that's with skill three. Is he doing. This unit does, oh, for, I forgot, she, she even gives a refresh as well. I, that's nine. <laughs> huh, wow. What a, what a unit doing all of that. Absolutely amazing. Now we're at her support skills. Goddess of the Shield. Goddess Wrath level rises by one upon being targeted by a foe. Now this is very important. She has to be targeted. Doesn't mean she has to be hit. So if the if the target hit misses, it still adds. So that's very important. Now, each time she does gain a goddess, uh, a goddess wrath level, it does increase her skill to number of hits and it caps at five. So once she gets five, you're hitting 10 hits per skill two. Not only that though, every other time after she hits five, she gets a free skill to every time. That means in a raid where let's say it had AOE autos, every freaking turn, she gets 2 million damage. Now, pr for practicality, if you're playing in a group, 
it may not seem that great, right? It may not be like, oh man, this skill is so good. You're not going to see it nearly as much in a normal raid with a group, a high level and everybody doing a tremendous amount of damage. But that's not the value. The value is when you solo and he does 2 million damage to 3 million damage every turn for a free. She didn't do nothing. The boss looked at her and she said 2 million, 2 million, 2 for, for, for like 40 turns. That's that's 80, that's 80 million. She didn't, she, she's just doing it for free. And don't forget, it applies the fence down every time. So her chance of having the fence down on the enemy is extremely high. <laughs> so it's actually amazing provided for solo content. In group play, not so much because, you know, you have a couple things you have to worry about, right? The boss is not going to be alive for nearly as long. But when, you, when she's alone and it's just your three units and her, three units being that your main character, um, and see popping out two, three, four, five, four, two, three, four, whatever amount of millions that that skill hits. Cause there's other ways to increase the cap. If you're wondering, you have Siva, you have the, uh, the newest unknown weapon that came out with pro proving grounds that gives up to 50, I believe 50% damage cap or 40. Yeah, I think it's 40. Then you have the Ultima. You have many ways to increase the skill damage cap and she gets that for free. Every other turn you have Esser increasing the damage cap as well. And you got Athena that's popping out two, three, four million after she gets five stacks. So this skill is amazing for solo play. It has so much potential to make your life 10 times easier. And it's applying the fence down every time too. Wow. That's, I remember when I first seen this skill, I, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I really. I really couldn't believe it because I'm more of a solo player and I'm just looking at this like this is this is ridiculous <laughs> It's actually ridiculous but Keep in mind it's for solo play and it's not for group play. So Group play not that great, but for solo wow <laughs> Anyway, we're looking at her last skill searing uh, Crimson boost the CH spec against a foe with burn effect as I mentioned that she does apply burn with her skill too So that's pretty good too and it's also good really go with the effort axe. That's enough gawking at the unit. I gawked at her enough. I just thought it was like, I was looking at this unit and I was thinking about like, oh, this like Uno on steroids. Cause now it works on AOE. If you didn't know recently in like the past six months or maybe a year, it's been a little while. They did end up nerfing Uno's counter. Now it no longer works in AOE, but Athena is like, you know, I can still counter for free. But it's pretty cool. Uh, it, I was just like, wow. Now keep in mind, you gotta build it up, right? Five stacks, that's not that common. Unless you're fighting Grimnir, and then that's really, really common because Grimnir does AOE autos at the beginning of the game. So, <laughs> really good unit, really good unit. Now, these are the EMPs I went with. Hostility, because you want her to get hit. Her priority is to get slapped. You want to spank that, spank that, spank that. <laughs> <laughs> you need her to get slapped. <laughs> so you want to max out that hostility ASAP. She, she's not doing good unless you get a spank. So gotta get her spanked. You gonna definitely probably want to put some points into defense for solo play. Uh, debuff success rate is really dependent. If you're doing stuff like ultimate Bahamut high level, maybe solo, you want to invest into that. Charge bar, it's up to you. It depends. She doesn't have extremely high multi attack rate. So to give her a little bit of charge bar so she ogies a little bit more often without having to multi-attack really hard. It's okay, charge attack damage cap. That's different depending on the player, how strong your pool is. If you're weaker, don't get it. If you're stronger, you can get, put one point into it. But that's my opinion. Fire attack is definite, so no way around that. Thank you guys. Uh, we're gonna get some content now. I know I have to gawk over these new units, but they're so good. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. And for people who would like mention ratings on uh, on like stuff like what's what's it called? I forgot what's it called. Game with there we go. 
for people who recommend uh, recommend rating and stuff like that on game with they need to redo that whole rating system bro there are a bunch of outdated units with really high scores and it's really not that great like they got gotta keep in mind the more new units we get into the game that makes the older units that weren't good not nearly as good now because <laughs> they're getting power crept is what it is power creep bro it's a gotcha game power creep so your units that are, because one unit didn't score nearly as high as another unit bro though those older units that have the same score for like a year year and a half they haven't been changed they need to be changed so that's my opinion i don't really care about game with scores i never looked at it i like to play with the unit so and playing with athena she's amazing <laughs> <laughs> she's amazing so you can expect a team Mot mallet solo coming up in like a day or something i already did it so don't worry about it the video will be out soon thank you guys we're going to get to some actual gameplay <laughs> i'll be right back so i was going to do the boss that everyone does but i was like nah let me do let me do a boss where you know we can actually sew off athena getting hit the other boss you probably know him I won't mention the name, but you, you you know, you know. So to avoid that, we're gonna do this one. One thing I hate about doing this boss though is that it does start off with that annoying buff. You have to hit it with AoE at the very beginning, but that's easy to do with Anella. Anella makes quick work of that. Not that bad. We can hit all our buttons here. Right there. Okay, we get to go. Now, I'm going to be doing another Bahamut high level day. I did do one last Sunday, I believe. So I'll be doing another one coming this Wednesday. At the time of recording it, it's Monday. But I'll be tomorrow will be Tuesday when I upload this video. So. Wednesday, uh, uh, what is it? January 9th. I'll be doing another Bahamut day if anybody wants to join. That's, that's my my idea on it. We didn't get much multi attack there. You may notice that I did change out my Athena spear because it's a longer fight. I just try, uh, I decided to change it out because the fight's a little bit longer and I kind of want the HP because you have to stay above 80% with a Kasha weapon. So that's why I changed it out. But I do want to do another Muhammad high level so day. I may try to do one for Ultimate Muhammad 2. Uh, I haven't decided yet. I did recently pick up uh, a Switch and Smash. So I do want to stream that a little bit while I go through like the World of Light and everything. So I, I may have to hold back on like a Muhammad high level day. Not Muhammad, Ultimate Muhammad high level. So we're going to use her Phalanx. We didn't really need to, but it's like, why not? It doesn't hurt. Okay, cool. Yeah. So you see, you see getting stacks takes a little while though. We're about what? Almost 25% way into the boss. So this is like a, a group of people fighting, you know, the boss would be almost dead by now. So she's definitely more of a solo character, but that's, I think that's good enough for me. I'm more of a solo player because I usually record solo videos, so for me it's good. But for like people who like the race and stuff, it probably won't be nearly as good. So it's all personal preference, what you're looking for. Oh, we have to miss the fence now, huh? Okay. The fence down is hard to hit. You can see the Nella buffs ran out. I think we should get him up in one more turn from now, I, I think. Oh, no, they're, they're up now. Cool. Like that. Yeah, we'll use our first Shiva. I want to get Shiva some, some charge bar, so I'm going to be using my skill one next turn. Because the whole point is to get Shiva as many Ogis as possible. Okay. Too 
2.6 on the Ogi, not bad. I know it's a little bit weak there. Oh, that's see if I already got his full Ogi, huh? Didn't even have to hit it. I guess right now we have a good rotation where we have Shiva lined up with Anilla, and then we have Athena with my main character. So in the optimal situation, we should be able to get Ogi again a turn after this. Anilla worked really well because of the fact that she keeps giving Charge Bar out. Wow, look at that. 91. I'm totally not playing up because I'm on the side. <laughs> Totally not. You have no proof. So sadly, our main character did not get 100 like I wanted to. Which is okay, I guess. What can you do about it? The ideal situation will be him getting 100 or her being 100, getting 100, but it's okay. It does nothing. Like, the guard and all of that is too much. Now you can start seeing Athena kick in. Took to 50% for Athena to start kicking in with her abilities. Trying to cap the fence down now. We did hit the fence down this time. Cool. We do have the lower multi attack on, but I don't think it lasts that long. Worst case scenario, we can just hit Typhon or something. Though I'd rather not. Oh, hit we have to want to hit the charge bar speed up. I brought this just to increase Shiva charge bar speed. And break is not bad, but the main point of it is for charge bar speed. <laughs> Okay. So in an ideal situation, we should gain actually 100% on Shiva from here. He should have 100% TA, so even if he has the uh, the lower multi-attack, it's not that bad. I guess I guess I guess it wasn't ideal. <laughs> oh, I see why. Vanilla Buff ran out. Yeah, yeah, okay. I didn't realize. I should have looked, but I didn't. I nearly get 50% boost, so. The fact that Anilla has 6-8 on her uptime and is heavily reliant on her uh, her passive to proc to really have a full uptime on her. That's the one problem with Anilla. Because in this team, kind of relying on it, you want to have this constant Ogi generation for Siva because it's Ogi so strong. But Nilla buff is not, you know, permanent. That means we need a Nilla a buff coming up where she had 100% uptime all the time. We're just gonna use Typhon here. Five million, my goodness. I didn't think we'll hit the trigger, but we look we are gonna have to hit the trigger. So you're gonna see a uh Athena get another counter in. The trigger actually does quite a bit of damage, actually. So we're gonna have to ask the heal here. So you can see the counters, you got two counters, you got two on Shiva. And then one on Athena. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm a fan. And it will just finish with Shiva. It had AoE up, but you know, Shiva just goes right through that anyway, so. Should be the end of this fight. Or, 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 or maybe not. Or maybe not. <laughs> or maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe to put plushies on the grid to maximize damage. But, eh. I don't really want to swamp plus from my grid all the time. It's kind of annoying. 
it does help to have all your stuff plus 99, 300 and stuff. But that's, that's, that's work. I'm good. No thanks. I don't feel like that's a true showcase of everything plus 99 fully maxed out. This is free to play, bro. Gotta make it free to play. Well, thank you guys for watching. That's Athena. Great unit. The one problem with her is that she takes a little bit of time to build up. So she definitely needs a solo unit. She's not really um, gonna MVP every raid with this unit. But you know, not every unit needs to be like that. There's good defense units that are good for making solo content a breeze. So, and if you didn't know, there are the new trophies. So the new trophies, you do get tickets, a single ticket, but you know, it's a ticket for soloing content. So for people who have Athena, I wish you guys good luck with your team on Malice and uh, Morgana. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.